Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day from St Peter's Bexhill. Where we're on to part 13 of our stories from the Bible. This one is called The Boys Who Like to Say No. As all the stories, it raises all sorts of interesting questions and issues. See what you think. God was very sad. Most of his people had stopped listening to him and talking to him and following his rules. Change your ways, God had warned them, or you will have to leave this special land I gave you so long ago. But the people would not listen. So God let their enemies defeat them and destroy their cities and carry them hundreds of miles away to be slaves in the land of Babylon. There were, however, a few of God's people who did not forget him. And among them were four young friends, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. These boys were clever and strong, so Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, decided to treat them well. He gave them soft beds, rich food and an education at his very best school, all in the hope that they would forget about the land they'd left. But Nebuchadnezzar hadn't reckoned on them being the boys who liked to say no. King Nebuchadnezzar's chief servant was put in charge of turning these boys into good Babylonians. For dinner tonight, he announced, you will have the following choices from the king's own menu. Pink pork sausages, plump pork chops, or perfect pork pies. The king's food looked good. But Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego knew that it was made from something that God's rules said they should not eat. The rules they had learned back in their own land. The rules their God had given them. The rules and the land and the God they had promised never to forget. So they turned to the king's servant and together they said, no. The servant could not believe it. No pink pork sausages, he asked. No, said Shadrach, but I wouldn't mind a few carrots. No plum pork chops? No, said Meshach, I'll just have a green salad. And not even one perfect pork pie? No, said the Bednego, but some beans would be lovely. The king will be very angry, the servant explained, and if you do not eat his food, you will grow tired and ill, and then the king will punish me. Won't you change your mind, please? No, said Daniel, but you will not get into trouble, for we will not grow tired and ill. Tell the king that we wish to have a contest. For ten days, the four of us will eat nothing but vegetables and water. The other boys in the palace can eat your food. And then we shall see who is well and who is not. The servant agreed, and so did the king. And for ten days, the boys who liked to say no ate nothing but vegetables and water, while the other boys ate their fill of the king's food. What happened? The god who Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego would not forget did not forget them. At the end of the contest, the boys who liked to say no looked healthy and strong, much healthier and stronger than the other boys, in fact. So from then on, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were allowed to eat whatever they liked, all because they were loyal to their God and because they were the boys who liked to say no. <laughs>